I wanted to share with you about the power of attitude, the power of attitude, very important for us to contextualize and also appreciate where we are. I'm sharing this motivation um, nugget during the lockdown and preparing you for a life beyond a lockdown. I'm not doing these things naive or in a vacuum. But I'm doing it with the same understanding that lockdown has a psychological effect on people. If your mental health is not that very strong, chances are you are going to be a casualty post the lockdown. My responsibility here is to assist you to be able to go beyond every limitations that we have experienced. I read an article from the um, website called verywellmind.com verywellmind.com they were talking about the, the 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 trigger for a grief or dealing with a grief the article was more about dealing with a grief and so and i thought that grief it's only associated when we have lost with our loved ones and all that but they were able to contextualize it and put it into a place where you and i can also appreciate and also grow individually and so one of the things that i have seen that is so important or what they have highlighted into that article was that some of the triggers that we can we have to be aware of um, when we are dealing with these realities is that job loss can also be a trigger um, your financial anxiety thinking about inability to to provide for your family that can also be a trigger for 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 you loss of, of safety um, worry about our loved ones. As, as it is now, most of the time you are worried about your parents that could be in the villages or in other cities. And so it is important for us to also contextualize that this thing has an effect. It has an effect. Whether you like it or not, there is an effect. And so we have to be psychological ready in order for us to thrive with whatever we're supposed to deal with. And so today, I want to share with you five points about on how to deal with the lockdown. Very important. I want to start by saying that a lot of us, we are anticipating to go back into our normal life. Um, you know, when the president in South Africa announced that he's going to, you know, we're going to go on a 21 days uh, of a lockdown. You know, people just you know, thought, ah, anyway, after our 21 days, you know, we're going to go back to our normal life and all that and everything will proceed as it was and so then from there when we were in the middle of that first 21 days he announced extra two weeks which uh, gives you a restart for you to uh, to start counting again another 21 days okay and so out of these things a lot of us were still expecting that no man we're gonna go back to our lives things are going to be normal and all that can i be honest with you that life is not gonna be normal anymore we are not going back to our normal Never. We are not going back to our normal. We have to embrace our new normal. Our new normal is here. Our new normal has come. Our new normal has arrived. So you and I have to embrace a new normal. The way we've been doing business, things are going to change. People are not going to, <laughs> to appreciate seeing you in a boardroom. No. They don't mind to run meetings through Teams. They don't run mind to run meetings through Skype. They don't mind to run meetings through Zoom. So it is important for you as a leader where you are to start embracing these changes that have come. The first thing that I want you to understand, when I was reading some of the material by Albert Einstein, he said, weakness of attitude, it is or becomes a weakness of character. Weakness of attitude becomes a weakness of character. So it is important for you to understand that you cannot afford to be weak when it comes to, to attitude. Because attitude becomes a window into our society or a window into, um, into our lives. It determines the approaches to life. Today we are dealing with a crisis. But if your attitude is bad, you must know that your approach to life will also be bad. If your attitude is good, therefore your, 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 your approach to life will also be good. Attitude has the ability to uplift you or you know, to bring you down. Haven't you seen people that have got a very strong, you know, uh, attitude? Their lives appreciate. But those who have got negative attitude, their lives keep on depreciating. 
When your attitude appreciates, ladies and gentlemen, so is your life. But when your attitude depreciates, so is your life too. Your attitude Get in mind the approaches in life. The first thing that you have to do for me, develop your attitude. Whatever things that I'm going to say here, it does talk to attitude, but it is important. Make it your job to develop your attitude because your attitude needs to be developed. Norman Vincent says, the person who sends out positive thoughts activates the world around him positively and draw back to himself positive results. A person who sends out Positive thoughts activates the world around him positively and draws back to himself positive results. So it is important for you to understand that these things are a reality. Point number two, take full responsibility. When you think everything is someone else's fault, you will suffer a lot. When you realize that everything springs only from yourself, you will learn both peace and joy. That was the Dalai Lama. And when we say you must take responsibility, you must understand that happiness, joy, anger, frustrations, all of those things, they are your responsibility. How you feel now, it is not because of a country A that has done what? How you feel now, it is not what your neighbor has done. How you feel now, it's not what Mr. President has done to you. But how you feel it is based on how you have shaped your attitude. And your attitude will give you the results that you have asked for. So take full responsibility of your life. Very important for you to note. Jack Canfield says, to achieve major success in life, to achieve those things that are most important to you, you must assume 100% responsibility of your life. Nothing less will do that. Point number three. Don't be afraid of failure or a setback. A setback is an opportunity for you to re-strategize, to think about how you can make things better, how you can improve situation where you are. It gives you an opportunity for you to change things. It was Michael Jordan who said, I have failed again and again or over again and again, I have failed, but still succeeded. Very important. Failure is not the end of the world. Crisis is not the end of the world. The world will still move on. The world will still, will, will still succeed beyond a crisis. In actual fact, human, humankind, they have been going through, they are the product of crisis. Look at the Middle East. Look at other African states. And tell me, that is that not a crisis? Look at our neighbors in Mozambique. They've dealt with serious crisis. Number four, believe in yourself and your capabilities. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your ability. Hey, believe in yourself. Have faith in your ability. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your powers, you cannot be successful or be happy. Success always begins in your mind. Keep doing the right things, even when it's difficult to do so. Folks, it is important for you to understand that you must believe in yourself. You must believe in yourself. You must believe in yourself. It is important for you to do so. The last thing, surround yourself with positive people. Positive people are important. Brian Tracy says, Get around the right people. Associate with positive, goal-oriented people who encourage and inspires you. Make sure that you do that. Because people that are around you, there are people that are inspiring hope. There are people that are also, you know, who are sort of a prophet of doom. They are telling us that this is the end of the world. They are telling us this is it. There is no life beyond where we are. Can I tell you that the human race is very resilient? They have shown and demonstrated their abilities to be able to come around when crisis has hit in their show. I want to challenge you today once more and say, begin to surround yourself with people that have got a positive mindset. Avoid negative people. Some of this negativity, they are valuable out there in the social media. And that is why even the double H or advice that if you think this news 
that are being shared on social media, television, broadcast, and everywhere. If you think it's affecting you mentally, stay away. Refrain from listening to how many deaths. Refrain from listening from how many, you know, how many new cases and all that. Refrain from doing that. Because you need a positive mindset for you to live a life beyond a lockdown. Ladies and gentlemen, let me repeat again these five points that I believe will help us with a life beyond a lockdown. Develop a positive attitude. It is your responsibility. No one is going to develop it for you. Take full responsibility with your own life. If you are going to blame other people for your failures, chances are you are not going to be a happy person in life. Number three, don't take failure or setback. You know, don't be afraid of a failure or a setback. Even when these things happen to you, make sure that you always inspire yourself and always take courage to move forward. Believe in yourself and your capabilities. That's number four. Believe in yourself and what? And your capabilities. And number five, surround yourself with positive people. Friends, I always appreciate your feedback. If there's something that you have learned, I want you to type it there on the bottom. Just type it there and say, this is what I've learned and I believe it is assisting me to grow. And also make sure that you take it to someone um, that you believe uh, will also appreciate these materials. Life beyond lockdown, it is possible. Just make sure that you stay safe wherever you are, stay encouraged, stay encouraged wherever you are, and meet you at the top where you belong. Meet you at the top where you belong.